What is a discoid meniscus and is it a big deal? I'm Dr. David Geyer, orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine specialist. I provide education, information, and commentary on all sorts of sports and exercise, injuries, injury treatments, and injury prevention for athletes and active people so that you can stay healthy and perform your best. I talk in these videos all the time about meniscus tears, you know, that C-shaped shock absorbing piece of cartilage that we have in the knee. We have one on the inside or the side closest to the midline of your body and one on the outside or the lateral side of the knee. So we have two in each knee and we talk about meniscus tears and trimming the meniscus tear out and we talk about sewing them back together. You can check out the injuries and surgeries playlist on my YouTube channel. I've got a number of videos about basically meniscus tears and the types of treatment options, the types of surgery for them. But one of the questions that I get occasionally concerns a discoid meniscus, uh, whether or not that's a big deal, what do you do about it? And I'm always interested, the, to, the people have never even heard of it. And I, I guess that makes sense, unless you have that problem, you wouldn't know if it's a big deal or not. You wouldn't have ever heard of it, very likely. You might have one right now and you don't even know it. So in this Ask Dr. Geyer video, I'm gonna answer a question from a reader in Australia, actually, about a discoid meniscus. How common is it? What does it mean? Is it a big deal? And hopefully you can uh, learn more about it. Maybe if you had a discoid meniscus, this video can help you. Okay, Mary in Brisbane asks, my nine-year-old daughter recently sprained her knee running on uneven grass track with sprint spikes. The next day, her knee was a bit swollen. I took her to physiotherapy, concerned about possible meniscus damage. We had an MRI done, and it was revealed that she had a discoid lateral meniscus, but no evidence that it was torn. The medial meniscus is intact, the ligaments are intact, the popliteus tendon is normal, there's no defect or irregularity of the articular cartilage, and no abnormal bony signal. What does this mean? Can my daughter resume sprints? jumps and throws after the swelling and the pain go away? Should she consider a different sport? What action in athletics would increase the risk of tearing the discoid lateral meniscus and should that be avoided so that she could continue? Well, all terrific questions and you know, I don't want to get in the nature of her case specifically because I can't give specific medical advice in these videos. But what I can do in this case is explain what a discoid meniscus is and potentially what you do about one if it's torn or if it's not torn. Okay, first of all, I described how the meniscus is a C-shaped structure, like shaped like the letter C. But in you know babies, infants, a lot of times it's not C-shaped. It's hemi. Uh, it's sort of a semicircle or a half moon. Uh, it extends all the way out here, so that it's basically there's no inner. Uh, space so to speak so that the uh, so that it makes it c-shaped but what happens as we start to age early in life is our body resorbs it back into the shape of a C uh, and that happens for most people but we think somewhere maybe one to five percent of people that never happens and they develop a meniscus that's what we call discoid. It's semicircular uh, and thickened. Uh, essentially, there's more shock ab absorber there uh, for that person than there is for most everybody else. And very often, they have no idea at all. We think that of the people that have it, a quarter of them actually have it in both knees. Now, that's not a big deal if it's not torn. And we usually find out about it just like what Mary describes. You have an injury, you get an MRI, and you see it on the MRI. Or occasionally, you may get a scope for say, an ACL surgery, and you find it at that point. Typically, if the discoid meniscus is intact, there's no tear, we leave it alone. It, it won't cause any problems. If anything, it's, it's a good shock absorber, just like everything else, and you go about your business. If you do tear it, very often will trim the torn part out and you basically trim it back into that normal C-shaped structure. So I, I don't know that having a discoid meniscus in and of itself would lead me to doing anything. As for do you prevent activities or change your activities to prevent a tear, I'd argue no. 
It'd be like telling somebody that with a normal knee but no discoid meniscus, well, to avoid the risk of getting a meniscus tear, you shouldn't play a sport that involves twisting and cutting and pivoting. So you're never allowed to play soccer or tennis or basketball or football or so many other things. And I think trying to tell a nine-year-old what you know she or you know can or can't play is not going to go very well. Plus, we want them playing sports and we want them to exercise. So once you know a young athlete's pain and swelling get back to normal, we let them play sports as if there was absolutely nothing different in their knee compared to the knee of anyone else. Okay, do you have a discoid meniscus or have you had a discoid meniscus? Did you tear it and what did the surgeon do? Or maybe you found out you had a discoid meniscus but you decided to leave it alone. I'd love to hear your thoughts. So below this video, share your experience. I would love to read them and I bet people all over the world like Mary in Australia uh, that you know has a discoid meniscus, they'd probably love to hear what you have to say as well. If you like videos like this and you want more information on sports and exercise injuries, injury treatments and injury prevention, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click this box in the upper right corner of the page. I record a couple of these videos every single week and they'll get delivered directly to you. If you know somebody with a discoid meniscus, please share this video. I hope it helps as many people as possible, so I would really appreciate it if you would share this video. Thanks so much for watching. Again, I'd love to hear your experience below this video if you have a discoid meniscus or have had a discoid meniscus. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you right here next time.